What's good, YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be talking about why you should become an independent contractor. So make sure you watch the end of the video. And as always, go ahead and like and subscribe. So if you don't know who we are, I'm Josh. And I'm Avery. And three years ago, we dropped out of college and we quit our jobs and we started our journey towards financial freedom, all while documenting it for you guys. If you're interested in learning more about being self-employed, earning money on your own time in business, this is the channel for you. Let's get right into it. Yeah, oh wait, pause. If y'all hear a lot of noise in the background, it's our new addition to the family. <laughs> <laughs> Alana B. So she's gonna be over there hiccuping and, and making all that noise, but we're still gonna get it done. Back to the video. Yeah. Real quick before we get into it, as y'all may have noticed, we took like a month long break off uploading content just because we had a lot going on. Yeah. We moved houses, we had a baby, and we just been adjusting to our new schedule. So we're gonna get back consistent and we yeah. gotta start with this video. So yeah. let's get into it. Now, just to give y'all some backstory, if y'all go all the way back to our beginning YouTube videos, y'all will see that we did videos on Instacart, we used to do DoorDash, we also did independent contractor apps like Pickup Now and also Curry, Rody, GoShare, almost any gig app that was in our area. Yeah, so we know we did that. Oh. <laughs> so we have a lot of experience and knowledge on being an independent contractor. So we're just gonna go through some of our tips, best advice pros and cons and some resources for y'all in this video. All right, being an independent contractor is a good way to start working for yourself. Sometimes most people aren't able to just hop right in and start their own business. So how we started it was we bought our pickup truck and we started doing independent contractor work. So technically we were self-employed, but we didn't have a business yet. And the opportunities that you get as an independent contractor really help you earn more money and get that freedom without having a business. So the main reason I would say to start being an independent contractor is so that you can start your own business. Now some things to consider when becoming an independent contractor is that when you get on these apps, the pay rate is as if, no. No, you, 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 no. Are, you know what you about to do. No, because I was about to start, wasn't yeah. I? You'll notice that the pay is going to be low depending on what app you're using. So you'll see this a lot on the apps like DoorDash, Instacart, Brody, uh, sometimes mm. Curry. Yeah, sometimes, hey, sometimes Curry. No, but really DoorDash, Instacart. Really we don't DoorDash do any Instacart. DoorDash and Instacart because the payouts are so low. Yes. And that's the thing. When it's not your own business, you can't just charge your own rates. Yeah. But when you're an independent contractor, sometimes it's difficult to even think about how much you should price if you're doing junk move, if you're yes. doing lawn care, if you're doing that. So getting on apps like Angie Services and these other gig apps to get work, you need to consider that you're not the one that's pricing it. And in exchange for that, you're going to get low payouts. Yes. And to, to say something to what you just said, we see a lot of comments from people talking about the payouts on some of those apps. You got to realize when you're running a business and you're getting into work and you're paying for all the expenses, the amount you're charging is not what you're getting. But as an independent contractor, you usually have way less expenses as a business so the payout kind of makes sense that's why we still contract to this day but you should definitely consider the amount of money that you're going to be making and i would say if you're looking if you're looking for this to be like some part-time side gig thing then maybe you could start with doordash and instacart but if you're looking to make real money you need to come into this with a pickup truck a cargo van a buy truck or something like that so you can at least start making a hundred dollars an hour plus yes uh, one thing about being an independent contractor that is a good thing is that you get to see if you actually want to do the work or not. Mm. So being an independent contractor just gets your leg in without having to get up yeah. LLC, without having to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I got laughs> you just threw me off. Sorry. Without having to get an LLC, without having to get the insurance, yes. without having to get all these licensings and permits and all the things that are required to run a business. Being an independent contractor gets your foot in the door and lets you see if you want to even be in this field. So if you don't know what business you want to start, you can start as an independent contractor yes. doing cleaning, lawn care, junk removal, painting, flooring. You can get your foot in the door by, again, using apps like Angie Services and getting on there and seeing that this is actually something that you want to do before you fully commit. Yeah. And... Just to clarify, Angie Services is not Angie Leads because we did a video on that. People were saying, oh, you have to pay for the leads. Angie Services is a free way to get work. As we said before, remember the payouts aren't going to be as big because it isn't directly through your business, but it's a really good way to get started. So now we're going to talk a little bit more about contracting and how it plays a part in our life now. So I don't know if y'all seen the video, the best apps to make money with your pickup truck. We were using a lot of apps and out of all of those apps, 
I don't know if you remember, but the number one app was Junk Grooves. And now to this day, even though we run and operate our own business, we love Junk Grooves. When I tell y'all that they have consistent work and consistent payouts, it makes so much of the difference. We still do jobs for our business, but it's kind of like neck and neck right now. Like there's some weeks we're in Junk Grooves where we're able to make $2,000 to $3,000. And if you're a business owner, you know that that can be really expensive if you're getting that through directly through your business. But when you get it through Junk Gurus, it's really expense free other than the dump fees. So right now we're contracting and doing work for our business, which kind of works out. Like, what, what do you think about it? Like, do you feel like in order to do it, you have to pick one or do you feel like you could do both? No, I feel like if it makes sense, you could do both. Like it would have made sense for us to be running our business and doing Instacart just because there we go. Instacart isn't nowhere neck and neck where we, how much we would make in our business. But Junk Gurus is an actual, like, it's an actual platform okay. and an app where you yeah. can actually not have a job and yes, full time. have an income off of that. Yeah, it's fully be an independent contractor. Fully. And like, and that's why I would say if you're really trying to become an independent contractor and make full time money, I would recommend apps like Junk Gurus. I'll leave a link down below in the description for you guys to sign up for the wait list. Right now, he's only bringing on people in North Carolina, but they do have plans to expand into different states. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that. And yeah, for me, I honestly feel like I would use Junk Grooves and use those things all the way up until we don't have the time to complete the jobs. And that's the great thing with being an independent contractor, you don't have to choose. If you did want to work your, you know, regular day job and then when you have free time, you could still be an independent contractor. You don't have to choose, you know? Yeah. So it's just a good way for you guys to get started. I know a lot of you guys are asking, like, what insurance do I need? LLC, all of this stuff. Maybe you should start as an independent contractor so you don't have to worry about all those things. Because as we said, that's how we started. That's what led us to where we are now. Like, I feel like it would have been harder to start the business without being contractors. Because as you said, this is how we learn how to price and all those other things. Yeah, and to be honest with y'all, not everyone needs to be a business owner. Yeah, oh my, thank like, you. I'm so glad that you said that. Not there, everyone needs yes. to be. Yes, it's a lot more than you think. Yeah, yes. there's a blessing in being an independent contractor. You can <laughs> find the right platform. Yes. Again, Jump Rules is that platform for us. Yes. DoorDash and Instacart isn't where it's at from yes. for us. Uh, some people can get that from doing Amazon Flex and make like a good yeah. salary and income off of that like you don't have to take it to the next level to be a business owner you could just yeah. at the independent contractor level and actually live a good life off that yeah and i'm gonna give y'all some free sauce a good place to find independent contracts is cbdriver.com i'll also leave a link down below for that that's a place where you can find medical courier contracts and uh Pick truck. Yeah, pickup truck stuff, cargo van stuff, and box truck work, and also Craigslist. Craigslist has the contracts as well. So those are two places you can go if you're just searching around for what you're trying to do. Yeah, that's a good place to start. Also, if you're interested in learning how to get started exactly how we did, make sure you check out some of our resources down below in the description. Some of the things like guide to make money with a pickup truck kind of lay it out all for you exactly how we started doing work for ourselves and working for ourselves and how it led into working for our business. Also, if you're going to start doing work with your vehicle, I recommend that you sign up for Stride. It's a free mile tracking app. You got to keep up with your expenses as an independent contractor. That's another thing to consider. As an independent contractor, you're going to be a 1099. That means you're going to be in charge of handling all your taxes and saving the money for your tax time. Now, you know a little bit more about that. Yeah. Um. So some good things to pair with that is having a banking institution that pairs well for independent contractors now one place that will suit all of your independent contractor or self-employment needs for banking will be found banking so not only can you accept payments from here let's say you venture off and do your own thing and you're using thumbtack to get clients you can accept invoices and payments mm. through there um it also keeps track of your expenses for tax season and runs you all your reports so make sure y'all check that out too. yes and it's really important like guys when you, whenever you become an independent contractor, you have a few more responsibilities than you would as a regular job. So it's really important that you do get something like a self-employed bank account just so it can help you because the traditional bank accounts don't keep up with all your expenses and your tax savings. So if you're interested in a good business as self-employed bank account, found banking will be down below in the description. Make sure y'all check that out. Now to our last piece of advice for you guys looking to become independent contractors, and that is just to start. Don't come in, leave a comment and say, hey, what do I need to do first? So I just start. 
use the platforms that I listed like CB Drive or Craigslist, go find a contract that makes sense for whatever type of work that you're trying to do, sign up and get started. You'll never know how it's gonna work until you just get started. Like that's the best piece of advice I can give for you guys. Go ahead and get started now. This video was not long enough to cover every single app that there is to become an independent contractor. So again, make sure y'all check out our guide to make money with a pickup truck. It is a 21 page document that walks you through buying your pickup truck, apps, resources, everything you need to make money with your vehicle. So make sure y'all yes. check that out. We, we put a lot of time in that because a lot of the time people have so many questions in every video, we can't make one video to answer everything. So what we do is on our spare time, we make additional resources. So all of that will be linked down below in the description. Guys, we wish you the best on your journey to becoming an independent contractor. Wait, what were you about to say? Are you about to close us out? Nah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was about to close us out. Okay, wait, Ivory. Yeah. Ivory! Come here! You wanted to, you wanted to say bye to the uh, YouTube family? See y'all at the top. Wait, we didn't see that part yet. <laughs> hey, now I'm Ivory. I just picked up the phone key. Oh, hit the wall. <laughs> Alright, one, two, three. See y'all at the top. Wait, wait, I wasn't ready. Dang. Okay. Listen, don't one, two, three. Okay. It makes it not go. Cool. Okay. Alright, alright, ready? See, See at the top. Wait, wait, we have to no, we one more time because I want to see. We don't one, two, three at the end, okay. never. Okay. All right, guys. As always. Okay. I can't even end the video. Y'all <laughs> see what I'm dealing with right now? Guys. Yeah, I hope, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, go ahead and like, subscribe, and we'll see, see you at the top. <laughs> First things first, if you don't know who we are, I'm Josh. And I'm Avery. And the door's being open already. <laughs> yes, Avery. Yeah. Alright, but we gotta do it. Come the, the, on, we gotta knock this on out. I just told you it was about to start the video. Ivory. Don't mess with me. <coughs> this video is supposed to flow. Yeah, she might not let us do this video though. This video is supposed to be flowing.